Everybody need help down there, you know? Yeah. That's me, no. I'm like, okay. It's nice. Very right? nice little bungalow. Three bedrooms with a dining room, which turned into a bedroom. I mean, it was very congested because of the amount of people and the amount of students in the small space. And nobody, not everybody knew each other. I was expecting fights and arguments. A lot of drama. And this is our fridge. <laughs> we, we got some, we got 89 bottles of, of pop right here because that's what we like to eat. We pop. And, and pickles because pickles go with everything. And margarine. And you gotta have the wealth. And the margarine. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ooh, and Wilt is. Brought, this, this introduction is brought to you by Welch's grape juice. Purple stuff. Welch's yes. and Chris. <laughs> Part of a healthy breakfast. Um, I think right from the get-go, our group was just very open. Everyone was just kind of laid all their stuff out on the table, and we had a lot of really good icebreakers, I guess you could say. So that was good, and everyone knew that they were going for one reason for another, and everyone else respected that, and just kind of, you know, let people enjoy their experience, and you know, the same for them. But we all just kind of, I don't know. But there, there was just a really good vibe. It's hard to explain, really, because. We all did our own thing, but then had a lot of fun together, and just kind of, everyone really got along. Just magical. <laughs> this is so good. Come this try some, how do you know? Who wants tomatoes tomorrow? I do. We should just set up a bunch, and then whoever wants a potato. I just don't want to cut all of them, and then have to do it in the middle. Mm. I was saying, like, it's still going to be wet. It's so good. Mm. This is from New Orleans. But even with our classes beforehand, I think everyone was still kind of, like, nervous yeah. yeah then we got there and you can slowly see everyone's like little shells come off and the people hotel. were doing weird things yeah. and like the hotel helped work. because yeah. it was like an introduction to yeah. here's some complete strangers you just mm -hmm. spent the weekend with them in the hotel room and you kind of hung out during the weekends and now here's the house <laughs> it was good i couldn't imagine doing it with you know 23 other people like i thought our group was it was really good i was very happy with how that turned out the St. Bernard Project is a grassroots nonprofit organization located in the St. Bernard Parish. With only $15,000 in 12 weeks, the St. Bernard Project can rebuild a home lost to Hurricane Katrina. This is uh, Chris, our homeowner, in front of this uh, big, beautiful home here. So, uh, how are you liking your uh, new drywall? I like the new drywall with the, the new Canadians, my, my new good friends. I appreciate it. Thank y'all very much. No and hopefully problem. one day when my house is fixed, y'all more than welcome to come stay for a week or so, whenever. And uh, mm. one day hopefully I could travel up to uh, Canada and come check you guys out. Uh, like I said, another bedroom and bathroom. One works site for the week with an amazing woman named Rebecca. She just loved to be around us and, and she, every chance she got, she would come and she would talk to us and she would kind of explain where she was coming from. She cooked us a five course lunch the first day. From scratch with 15 minutes notice on a tiny little stove. In a camper van. This is, um, I don't know, it's a casserole I make. It's with uh, salt and pepper. You, you toss it up and then you throw your tomatoes on it and croutons. That's, uh, that's definitely down the body thing. And then, then this is homemade carrot cake for you. Oh, wow. This is the most delicious food. Look, Everywhere. I'm eating vegetables. This is lettuce. Unheard of. Salad. It's a vegetable. Put it in. There you go. Nice.